All right, let's let's look ahead. <laughs> this table is very much tense. Uh, our second matchup features Timberwolves Clippers. Also features two of the more vociferous coaches in the league. What that Paul Blair. <laughs> Paul Blair for both of them. I never <laughs> saw Gatorade on the court, Paul. <laughs> what that this. mean? You so Inglewood. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Tibbs or Doc. Wow. They both. They both losing it, man. They both losing it. Oh, man. I'm going to have to say Tibbs. At least he can kind of still style his. You know, Doc only got one direction to go. He got to get the low cut with the lineup. That's all he can do with that. <laughs> I think Doc is more of the good cop. And I would look at Tibbs as more of the bad cop. You know, Doc would, you know, kind of smooth you over and Well, Tibbs, he was always that guy that got on you. You know, you're going to constantly get into arguments with Tibbs. He was, he kind of pushed the line with everybody. Which guy would lose their voice faster? That's obvious, Doc. I mean, he, he goes around with his voice sounding harsh. I mean, haven't you ever heard Doc talk? He talks like this. I make good points every once in a while. We got to get stopped and we got to get rebound. Weak side, more alert, more talk. He a bigger man, so his come from the stomach. Hey, man, get on the line. That's Tibbs right there. I probably got mad at Doc Moore for not calling more plays for me. <laughs> Tibbs at the time had no control. He was just a defense. But Doc, you know, when he wouldn't call my number or something down the stretch, I probably got mad at him a little more than Tibbs. Plus, we were around each other a lot longer. Listen, look at our lineup. Hit us in the lane, spread the board, and try to attack. Oh, get back on defense. Run the lane, rebound. Doc screamed at me for everything. He thought I could do everything. I mean, I could sometime, but. Only sometimes? <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> well, I, I played for both of these guys. Doc for uh, three and a half years in Orlando, and I played for Tibbs when he was uh, with the Rockets. You attest to this. Doc Rivers is by far gives the best pregame speech. Oh, my goodness. All buddy. times. Have you ready to run he through He could be a preacher at a, at a church. Seriously. Like, he, he, he was get the you best up. at that. Every thing. game? Every single wow. game. He had somebody. He had you ready to run through, the, run through up. the wall. Straight up. He was the best doubt. at that. I was like, dang. No, no doubt. That's no a gift. doubt. <laughs> and he had a new one every year. Me and Doc have been together so long. He started repeating them, and I'll, I'll be the only one in the locker room. Oh, yeah, I remember this story. <laughs> he said this about yeah. game, game, yeah. game, yeah, second round of playoffs. Let me go and hear this again. Like He's cool the best at it. He's the best at it, though. That's nice. That's He's the nice. best. That was a nice a piece. Nice they, piece. They Paul. worked more for Paul in Boston than they did with the Clippers. Wow. And just like no, that. He, he had him in uh, Orlando. I'm talking about the. He got Doc fired. Okay. Uh oh. He got Doc fired in Orlando. Another guy who's gotten. It wasn't Max's fault. Just kidding. Uh, Mac did all he could do.